Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to our Bolivar's Dream playthrough, where we are trying to uh, form Gran Colombia, and uh, well, things haven't been going badly actually, um, we've been doing well, um, I mean we, we're currently paying reparations to Guatemala because of goddamn Mexico, we had a really weird bug with the war where all these borders were just constantly stopping our forces from actually fighting, so... We're leaving it for now, we will go back and we will subjugate Guatemala, but it's tiny and I'm not overly worried if we don't. Um, I do want to take Venezuela, because obviously from Gran Colombia we need to at least hold, I don't know how much we need to hold, but if we look at the strategic region, hang on. I assume I need to hold all of this, basically. Um, so at some point I've got to take on Britain, France and Dutch Guyana. I'll see if these ever manage to split off, that's the thing. Um... Okay, that's not even a, a, a subsidy of, that is directly held by Great Britain, isn't it? Oh, yay! Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I mean, there may be other ways we can do it. Uh, we might be able to diplomacy some stuff. Um, interactions... Do, 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 do. Let's see... I could, I could... I could go to war with them. No. No. It sounds daft, though. The way to do it is potentially join in a larger war. So, say, Britain and France kick off, is to then jump in and jump on them, or, you know, when another major war is going on, just try and numb all of this up. Um, to be fair, the Netherlands I could probably take on, but I wouldn't have a way of getting there. Um, for the actual achievement, I've got to hold all of that, all of the Andes and all of La Plata down here. Not Brazil, but it's it's basically I need to unify South America, which is insane. But yeah, without further ado, let's go. We are economying, aren't we? Buildings, buildings, buildings. We are not constructing anything at the moment. Let's have a look. So we're not doing badly on our arms industry, though I want to get another logging camp underway. Um, everything else is doing well. Obviously, at some point, we will just integrate Ecuador, which will be fun. Um, we'll annex them through a diplomatic play to an annex subject, which is the way you want to do that eventually. Um, I could technically do it now, but I'm not ready. I need my bureaucracy to be a lot higher before I even consider that. Let's have a look. I'm going to leave these trade routes going, even though they're unproductive, because I, I need them. I'm still stockpiling gold. <laughs> and we need... We should be getting a law going. Why people want me to be a king? More people... It's not worth it. A lot more people hate it. So, you know, we've got a lot of resistance to it as well. This has come up. So we're going to stay as this for the time being. Um... A lot of people do want colonial affairs, but is it worth it? I don't think it's really worth it, because also it's worth it if you're, you're colonizing places, but we're not going to be. Yeah, I don't want to change that, though more would like peasant levies. Let's go for national supremacy here, because more people like it. Basically, it, it, it's better overall, which will reduce our radicals, which is kind of what we want to do as time goes on, because too many radicals gets bad and causes problems. Oh, no active research. Should I start pushing towards railways? Or do some military ones? Standing army. Oh, we've got quite a few. Hmm. Hang on. What I need to be able to do is make trains. I've seen that going some railways. The society ones are also good. Central banking is solid. Postal service, maximum cash reserves. Yes. 
Um, upping my max cash reserves is really solid, actually. Um, I need to find other ways of upping that. Let's have a look here. Country's really bad. No, that's not what we want to care about. I'm not sure. There's got to be various ways of improving that, which we do really want to start working on. Because more gold in the stockpile means we can, when we are spending, we can spend more. What? Are they? They are trying to damage relations with Brazil. Interesting. Do I do it? God damn it, I'm being naughty again. Now there are is a chance people may come into this war, but we'll see. I am actually recruiting a second general now as well. Uh, armed forces, don't want the alcoholic. This will split my armed forces across both generals, which means I could potentially open up multiple fronts if we had multiple fronts. Um, again, just in case, you shouldn't activate your conscripts normally, but we, we've got enough income to manage this. And we're going to put everybody on a nice offensive front here, just to keep an eye on it. You know what, I'm tempted just to take a state as well. What's in this place? Any of them, are any of them worth it? See, taking here would get me some government resources and would split them in two. Theoretically, I can annex a state at the same time. What do they actually have growing here? But it would be a tricky one. I'm going to leave it for now. Because, as I said, I want to be much more stable before I do anything like that. He says, I'm really umming and ahhing about it. Because, obviously, we get all these lovely plantations which I can sell stuff to. Hmm... And the more I try and take, the more other people are likely to get involved. Brazil is not interested in getting involved. This is how likely they are to get involved in mine. But none are likely to get in, are leaning towards either side, which is good for me. What? Okay, that is problematic. But I may be able to win before any reinforcements get there. Offer a treaty port in Bolivar to see if I can sway them back. They stepped out. Do I now have to give him a treaty port? Basically. We'll find out when I take it. I'm not sure if they dropped out or... Yeah, no, they didn't take it. They just dropped out for whatever reason. Probably. Something going on over here. Thank God. Because I was... Kind of hedging my bets there, but they wouldn't get there in time because they're a long way away and I'd be able to, to just crush before everything happened. Nobody's getting involved now. If they do, it's too late. Oh, and they capitulated. Venezuela is now my puppet.
There we go. We're getting there. Now I just need to beat Britain, the Netherlands, and France. <laughs> oh, God. We're looking at so North Andean, I think, is our, our, our main one. Nice! I'm actually quite happy with how that went. Um, obviously, we while we raised everything we didn't need to, we now have national supremacy. Uh, cultures which are accepted, share, yeah. Of primary cultures, which is North Andean. It will radicalize the intelligentsia. Oh, well. We've been doing other things to make the intelligentsia happy. Obviously, as time goes on, these guys will all vary what, what they do and how they do it. So, um... Yeah. It's a bit annoying that the, um... I'm not going to do it yet, but it's a bit annoying that the intelligentsia and the industrialists are together. What do I need? They oppose state religion, they oppose religious schools, legal guardianship, and legacy slavery. Now, putting them in power would mean I would be able to enact some laws to help them. But I'm uh, we do have a free government reform, so while I'm going to lose slightly, I'm actually going to do this because it will unlock some more laws for me. So state religion is definitely the top there. Ooh, charity hospitals. I'm after things which the intelligentsia like. Mm, slavery band is not liked by a lot, but the intelligentsia will help, which would make them like me more. The landowners would not like it. Um, let's see if there's other things. I do want to go that long run. Uh, ah, welfare, poor laws. Okay, the industrialists want poor laws. That that surprises me. Hmm. It's tricky working out what to go for. What which voting? Well, voting is by far the most. Oh, actually, no. One day we'll get universal suffrage. It's about what your people want as well as slowly moulding your society, so... I think... Oh, legal guardianship. Yeah, no, I don't even want to consider changing that yet. Free trade, ups trade volume, reduces costs, no tariffs on any goods. Don't want to do that yet. I think... I'm going to ban slavery, because while it will annoy some people, it will help the intelligentsia, which should help reduce my radicals, because it will make them happy. Oh. Oh no, the, the landowners absolutely loathe it and they have more clout than the uh, intelligentsia. So this, something you can do, I can just bolster them by spending some of my influence. And there are other things I can do. So, for example... Let's lower taxes, because our income is fine. We're going to lower taxes, which will in general make people happier, give people a better life, better qu quality of life. Uh, 
you for it. They owe obligations. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we are in a good position here. Ooh. The Catholic Church are dissatisfied. The judge shall not be judged. There we go, right. Buildings, buildings, buildings. My guns are doing well. That's green, which means it's good. Um, my, this is still not doing well, but it's okay. I could always subsidize it, but I don't feel I need to at the moment. <clears throat> I'm going to switch this up to cannons. And we are going to cancel that and that. And I am going to build a tools workshop, I think. There we go. What does it need to go into it? I don't actually know. Ah, just wood. For crude tools or pig iron tools, which was what we'll actually go for. It slightly uses some iron as well, which will increase the, val increase the value of my iron once we get it in there. Now this region is uh, un unincorporated. It takes 10 years to run. If I incorporate it, I think I will probably get more money off it. Obviously, it's not a hugely valuable region. But it might be worth incorporating. I mean, I've got the bureaucracy to do it. Yeah, let's start incorporating it. I just need to keep an eye on these guys, because the second something goes wrong... I mean, if I could get Brazil to join us in some wars here. But Brazil is still chonk, to be fair. Then again, while I've got 23+, plus, I've also got 40... Probably, I'm probably, I'm probably chunkier than Mexico at the moment. I mean, I'm definitely chunkier than Mexico. When does this goddamn tree truce end? 53. I will retake Guatemala. I will show the Mexicans what happens when they annoy Gran Colombia. Yeah, we're working on that. I kind of want that. This is a bit preemptive. I'm not don't really need the coal mines just yet, but they will be useful long run. Ah. Ooh, form one nation. I can form it now. Can I? I, I just absorb them. Okay. Um, I didn't realize it was that easy to do. We have formed New Granada or Gran Colombia. Uh, Gran Colombia already. Holy sh... Right. We are in trouble. I have a humongous amount of unincorporated states. Right, taxes back up. Taxes back. Oh my god, taxes up. I think that was a mistake to do just yet. I have already formed it. <laughs> oh god. Why did I do it? I didn't realize it would just bring them in. Hindsight's a bitch, guys. Consumption tax. We'll see where I am once this is finished. Right. 
Right, I've got to claw back 2k somehow. Let's start incorporating you straight away. Oh, wow, yeah, you are getting incorporated because your GDP is huge. How big is my military? 36 plus 9. I don't want to start messing too much. What the hell have I done? Oh. Right. Policies, decrees, we've got a few decrees going. Right, that means that I can do a horrific evil tax of evilness, consumption tax on grain. Woo! Okay, I need to seriously, now we've got Grand Columbia in existence again. We have major work to do and uh, obviously this has potentially upended my government completely as well ah that's because let's have a look yeah their infrastructure is usage is horrible Getting a couple of ports out there should help with the infrastructure and maybe reducing some of the buildings down. Especially some of the less productive ones because each building uses infrastructure, so. Right, actually. Can we sell a new export route? Yes. To the French market, we are selling cigars to the French. Um. How about cotton? Fabric, even. So I assume I sell it to the one with the highest value. Yeah, trade revenue. There we go. Now, these use up bureaucracy, which is a, is the danger. I'm, I'm kind of still hemorrhaging a bit of money. I need to really... I mean, I'm bigger now, so I've got a much more taxable base. But it's going to take a long time to get myself in order here, guys. Uh, we, we're going to struggle for a while, but we formed Grand Columbia, which was the original aim. Bolivar's dream is back on the road. A small price to pay for industry. And my economy is already actually beginning to uh, pivot, which is good. Woo! Oh, I say it's gone back down now, but. But straight up, having these um, places, having the in infrastructure issues, and the minus 25, you know, from not being incorporated is the real danger here. If I can sort out this one, because that is. Seriously, good region. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. I did think that was about to happen. Oh God. Um. No political political lands. Oh no, these ones use authority, god damn it. I mean, military wages is the real way to do this. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, and I'm spending 6k a tick on construction, so. Yeah. Right, I am going to remove some of these degree decrees. And we are going to put a consumption tax on tobacco. People are not going to be liking this at all, guys. This is the danger here. Um, I need to get myself afloat and pull myself back. Oh, no active research. There we go. Modern sewage. Quinine. Realism, extra prestige. There we go. No. What I need is... Start working towards railways to really push out my infrastructure. God damn it. There are releasables, aren't they? I think I could theoretically release them back as dassels, but do I want to? It's this turmoil which isn't helping. They're going to be incorporated soon, which is really going to help. Take the authority here. I say I think it's going to help. I'm not entirely sure of the benefit. Yeah, our taxation capacity is far too low. And that's because of this. But we are currently running a positive tax while building stuff, which means once stuff is sorted, we can start lowering things down again. Okay, yeah, incorporating it shot my tax through the roof. Oh god, I've got turmoil everywhere. Oh shit! <laughs> I think I have a few radicals, guys! Oh god! I mean, we formed Grand Columbia. It may not last long. Uh, no. Okay. Please help with my radicals. 
Right, let's look at my government. I don't want to do anything which creates more radicals. <laughs> See, these are all liked, but they cause other issues. Ah, hang on. Institutions. Law enforcement, there we go. Oh, hang on. That still costs money, and I don't costs this, and I don't have it at the moment. So, they are dropping. They are dropping now. We're beginning to sort things. So I have a free reform. Wow, taking the armed forces out. Is huge for me. There we go. Ooh. Private health insurance. Generally liked. Public health insurance is a mixture. I will... They don't hate it. Balancing things. The industrialists would still be positive. And it would increase the trade unionists. Public health insurance it is! Right. Seriously, that was an ouch moment, guys. is causing it state and cultures terminal contain radicals it's the amount of radicals um, I am going for a paper mill but I'm gonna build it here because this is my production hub no, 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 this is, this can be built here. Let's check. Mm. No, I'm going to build it here because I'm running out of room here. And this is because I'm going to do something radical. <laughs> I am going to tweak this soon um, in a way which is going to be very, have a big amount of oomph for us, so... Okay, radicals are dropping slowly, which is good. Um, I am running a little bit of a negative now. Uh, let's see. Low market access in these places. That just means I need to build up the... Uh, they're, they're over things. Turmoil everywhere. You can reduce the number of radicals by ensuring the needs of your pops are met. Pops, jobs, and can afford minimum standards of, sta standards of living. All that jazz. We're getting there. It's going to take us a while, but we are getting there. The issue is, we're struggling because we've got so many radicals. But as they drop off and places come out of turmoil, you know... It will get better. It will get better. He hopes. That's why with this law we're trying to go through is one which is balanced and a lot of people like. Not everybody. Damn. I 
don't want negative on that. I'm assuming I'm no longer paying these guys any money. I can't believe it was that, that easy to form, actually, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it was that easy to form. I didn't realise it would be. The achievement is all of it, all of La Plata and things. So I've got to take stuff off colonial powers to get the full achievement, which is... Yeah. Whether we manage it is a different matter. Hey, we are running out. We don't have turmoil in some places anymore. I wish it would give me a better breakdown of what's causing it. Uh... Let me know in the comments if you know how I can tell a bit better exactly what's going on. Get by without. I can't afford to waste money at the moment. He says, while well, my economy is, is actually doing much better than it has been. Arts Academy. What does it actually do? I'm not building it at the moment. So the paper is to help with my bureaucracy because we've got a cheat for upping our bureaucracy super fast. At the moment, we've obviously got, got much call for paper. Well, I say it is being employed, but... Whereas if we change these places to... Ooh, even better. But it'll push the price of paper through the roof, so this may hurt. But we've got the paper production. There you go. So actually, that's perfect. I want to get paper to a medium price. Huzzah! We now have public health care. So this is another institution. Um, I want to up this. Ah, you see, I thought that might happen. Oh no, it's because I'm building enough paper mill. <laughs> I'm an upty, I forgot that. So... Having extra police will help with my uh, turmoil, I hope. But my radicals are going up again. Why are they going up again? Right, let's have a look at my laws. I don't always want to be doing a law, but... So the poor laws... Most don't care about. Uh, the landowners aren't keen, but will cope. The industrialists and the trade unions. There we go. Whew. As I said, next, I think we need to start working on some other things, like um, some of my other buildings, yeah, building up the economy in other places and ways, because like my tooling workshop is, is barely worth it at the moment. That's probably because I'm importing tools, aren't I? How do I check my routes? So goods with potential export. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes. 
France? Buy my sugar. Wow. Yeah, sugar just became profitable. I say. Didn't really do that much to it. Sorry, can't be nice to you at the moment. Can't afford to be nice to you at the moment, I'm struggling. We've gone massively more powerful, but at the same time, we're struggling. Mexico is getting its butt kicked. Ooh. The prospect of workhouses, including religious interests. Yep, yeah, the moral principles of the people must be whatever. It gave me more buffs, didn't cost me anything. So this will hopefully, having, so by having more, what I do is I reduce the price. Ideally, I'd like the price to become a, me, a sort of medium value. Um, because when it's expensive, I'm having to currently buy this. That's my understanding, at least, so. This would lower it, but then I'd end up paying a lot more for sulfur, so it isn't worth it. While I'd produce more paper, it's not really worth it. Nearly finished. There we go. So paper has dropped to a medium price, which is really good for our economy. Can't quite afford to pay my uh, people properly, but we're getting there. I mean, we've got a huge potential here, guys, so... Using 14 of 22... Ooh. Pop a port there. Ports do increase your, um, words failing me. Uh, infrastructure and same there we are. I mean, easy way of fixing that. There we go. My government rages, wages are through the roof. France wants to age. No. There we go. Do I have higher, um, did we enact? Do I want to go for level three? I think I do. I think to be fair, I want to go all the way. Ooh, I need to up my... Iron mines. So we're holding a float, just. We are struggling, my, but we are slowly balancing the books. We've got a lot of radicals. Unsurprisingly, we just basically forcibly united a nation. Um, general staff unlocked. Okay. Um, right. I can do different things in my barracks. This is what I need to look at. So, obviously, we're currently 
go to skirmish institution. Does it cost me more? Yeah, it costs more ammo. At some point, I'm going to need to start changing these, but otherwise I'm going to fall massively behind. But we'll see. I mean, right now I can't afford to do anything, so... Other than balance my book, my economy and make my economy get bigger. So we are... we're doing well. You know, we've come up... we were 30-something to start with. I'd love to get that above struggling. I mean, it's better than impoverished. And dyes are already ridiculously cheap. That iron mine should help with some of our other industries as well. What? Oh, I'm about to have a bureaucratic shortfall. Am I? Bugger. They all right. Holy God, they've got twenty three. Oh, that's. Ah, there we go. Yeah, why would I want to reform it when I'm at 100%? I need to get this finished. Ooh. Against the odds. Yeah, I don't want more radicals. Last thing I want at the moment is more radicals. I and mean, I want to be able to take the tax off goddamn food. Tell me what it does. Okay, I'm going to leave it positive for a while. Okay, no active research. That's not good. Let's jump onto railways to help with that. Woo! Should I do it, guys? Ah, oh, I can't. <laughs> I was... Hmm. Ah, oh, they're too big. I was wondering if I could puppet them. How do I f release states? That's something I need to work out. There's definitely where you can release states, but I'm not entirely sure on exactly how that works. 
Not planning on testing it on one of my ones, but I'll probably test it in an offline game. But yeah, we'll see. Wow. Oh, I was going to say, I thought I'd build a port there. That fixes that anyway. It's all this turmoil. It's it's this I really need to, to, to get rid of. It is going down slowly. That is my really big hit at the moment. Anyway, that is something for us to work out next time in the future of Bolivar's Dream and Gran Colombia. Can we succeed where it failed before? Can we form a cohesive nation which is not going to fall apart? We're getting there, but our people are currently suffering for it, which we don't want. Uh, as always, guys, please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content. And... Um, an extra special thank you to our channel members and Patreons. That's Monsterbound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, and Jared Hall. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.